What is instructions not included about? It's, it's a love story. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful love story about a, a father, a, a dad, and, and his daughter. And it's, it looks like it's a, the, the typical love story between a dad. Well, this guy is afraid of commitment. So uh, he's a bachelor in Acapulco. And one day, one of uh, his ex-girlfriends show up with a kid with a baby and says, this is yours, and she disappears. She, she goes to pay the cab, and she never comes back. So this guy has to raise the kid, and that's the start of the, of the movie. It's beautiful, beautiful. So movie. it's instructions about the kid, not exactly. included. Exactly. How, how do you manage the, the fatherhood? Exactly. OK, we have a clip from Instructions Not Included with our guest here, Hujimio. Let's watch. Why do you think it's doing so well here? I don't know. I think because you can relate to the story. If you're a dad, or even if you're not a dad, I, it's, this story talks about commitment. How this guy is afraid of commitment, afraid of fatherhood, and suddenly the, the life puts in front of, of him this uh, kind of uh, mistake, error, and he has to overcome all this to become a, a better human being. What, what, when I describe you, are you you're an actor, writer, and director? What comes first? Actor. I, I first I, I, um, start as an actor, and then I find out that I need to create my own stuff. So I start writing. Then when I was writing, the producer was like, "This, I, 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 w I would love to do this. I would love to take out this." So I, I decided I have to produce and then to direct. Exactly. What was your big break in Mexico? Um, my TV shows. I mean, uh, I have my own TV show since 1993. Uh, the biggest one is called Familia Peluche. It's a um, uh, weird, dysfunctional family. Mm -hmm. And they are all dressed with the fur. They live in a, a fur city. The city is <laughs> completely full, full of fur. The cars are covered with fur. It's, a, it's, it's like fiction. But <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's really weird. For the American audience, I think it's weird. You can Google it or look for it in YouTube. Las Familia Peluche is really different and funny. Are people people everywhere? Are Mexican fans different than Americans? Or is funny funny? It's a different kind of funny. So, right. yeah. It's, I think that the humor between America and, and Latin America, it's kind of different. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's different. Maybe a little broad, broader. In uh, Mexico? In Mexico, yeah. Were you raised in Mexico City? Mexico City, yeah, all my life. Are people starting to recognize you in the United States? Yeah, and it's like you're starting over. It's exciting. The first time I, asked, I was asked for an autograph by an American, I was like, oh, the first time ever, I was like, oh my god, he's an American and he recognized me. So I was really excited. It's like it's starting over again. What was your most embarrassing moment? I think when I did the, the audition for uh, Rob, for the series, for the TV series, was the worst audition ever. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how I got the part. I was so nervous, I, uh, I couldn't say any, anything. I, I forgot my, my memory was, it was a completely blackout and I couldn't do anything. So that was the most embarrassing. How'd you moment. get the part? I don't know. After <laughs> that, they, they asked me to do it again, one more before leaving. And the second time I do it well. So it was like really, really odd because it was the worst thing and then I do a good job. What Eugenio was your proudest moment? Instructions not included. I'm really, really surprised about how this movie is touching hearts and how it's doing at the, at the box office. You're going to be a big hit in America. I hope so. I hope so. finally after years and years of struggling and fighting here in America.